next video will be about in the closet. Now, it's hard for teenagers in general to actually be themselves. It takes years before they actually find who they are. You can only imagine how it is when you are gay or bi or trans. Because you're in the closet and you don't want to disappoint anyone. Your family members, who either they are straight or in the LGBT community themselves, or um, your friends. I mean, they might turn around and pick on you or disown you for being who you are inside. That's why a lot of LGBTQ youths are always in the closet at in the teenage years. Um, but as long as we all educate them, educate the, everybody in general on acceptance of the LGBTQ community, then everything will be okay. That's why we have places like Safe Homes and Swagly and P-Flag and GSA clubs they could go to because we need, a, a, we need that kind of stuff in our curriculum. Because we have like English, math, history, all the stuff we need in life, but mo most importantly, we need to know how to accept each other as human beings instead of saying, you're so gay, you, you act like a lady. It's like, no. You have to help anyone who is in the closet to come out of the closet. And it's hard, it takes time, it's a journey. Like I said before, but it's a never ending journey. Just remember that. And it's important to be educated. So, um, I hope I inspire you guys all to educate yourself and educate other people around you. See you in my next video. This is the season finale, just so you know. The next video will be the beginning of season two of the LGBT. Q education no videos that I created. See you later today. Bye.